welcome you back after a little bit of a hiatus. I uh, had quite a cold there, and uh, I mean quite a cold. I mean, I don't get sick, and wow. Um, so I want to thank you for uh, the well wishes and so on, so it's good to be back. Uh, this week, a pen I have for you is a Nema Sign Singularity. It's a pen I've actually had some dealings with before, and we'll talk about that uh, a little bit later on in the review. Now, this is kind of a cool pen. The uh, physics is part of its marketing. The ink I have in it is Sailor Apricot, but since I'm uh, getting all these pronunciation things, I'm wondering if this is an English word or if it's another French word that I need to chop a bunch of syllables off, or at least consonants. But uh, nice bright ink. I don't know why I put it in this pen. Uh, neat thing about this pen is a 0.6 millimeter stub nib, and that's what I wanted to point out first, actually, which is why I have it inked up and wrote already. It's just kind of an odd size. Now, it is a number six nib. Friction fit, I could pull this out if I didn't have a bunch of ink in here already. Uh, the nib, I'll, I'll give you a close-up here in just a bit. And then the the feet, the, sorry, the converter is almost empty, but there's a little ball agitator in it that helps uh, keep the ink in place. You know, not high-class instrument, but, you know, it's actually surprisingly well made. It's very well polished for injection molded plastic. I mean, there's where the little nipple was that is used to inject the plastic into the mold, and it's very well polished. I barely even see the seams on top and down the sides. And same thing here. I'm pretty sure it was injected right at the top of the cap, but you know, nothing fancy here. It's actually a somewhat springy clip. Very nice quality feeling. Uh, the nib, as I said, kind of a nice design. Let's uh, throw on the magnifier and do a little close-up, and I'll show you one of the faults I've discovered with this pen while I'm there also. Turn on the light. Yeah, that was awkward. So, we'll look at the nib first, because the nib's pretty. So, I, I just kind of like that design. Oh, and I just wrote. <laughs> oh, well. So, just very attractive. Uh, the, as I said, 0.6 millimeter nib. Made in Germany. And the feed is... A regular feed like you get with the number six nib. Now, uh, Nema Sign has. I'm oh, sorry. I went. I <laughs> broke the video off there, but I got up and got something. Nema Sign has come out with a re entry nib, which they uh, use a torch and some acetone and, and some oils to get a neat effect on. So, this is a, a broad re entry nib. So, let's get a close up of that under the microscope. So. Huh? So it doesn't give quite the full effect under the microscope. Let's try turning it. Maybe that'll work better. Yeah. Either way you cut it, it doesn't... There's probably a happy place in here somewhere. Doesn't quite give you the full effect, but it is a neat effect in person. So let me set that aside. And it's a number six, so even if you don't put it... Even if you don't buy a Nema Sign pen, it's worth considering. Now, I mentioned I've had Nema sign before. Let me start with the good. Take off. Well, actually, I'm going to start with the bad because the microscope's on the lens. All right, so uh, if you look around the base of the cap here, well, uh, let me take off the barrel so you see what's cap. You can see there's a metal ring and then this bit of plastic. Now, do you see that right there? Little micro fractures. Uh, I noticed a few more. And you might be saying, okay, we're being a little picky, aren't we, Mr. Squirrel? Um, yeah, there's some more. And some of these are the injection lines. Well, let me tell you why I care about them. I actually bought this pen several years ago. Same color, actually. I, uh, I think they were still using the Iridium nib rather than this current nib. Anyway, so I, I purchased one. And... It was a very nice writer. I bought a fine. And at that time, that was the beginnings of my exploration of the fountain pen world. But it arrived on a Friday. And I almost, I noticed right away those micro fractures. By the end of Saturday, 
most of that bit around the cap had broken off. Well, that was a little disheartening. So I wrote the company because they have a pretty good warranty and they said, yeah, we'll just send you a new one, which they did. And I opened up the box and already there were micro fractures and about half of those pieces were broken off around the lip of the cap. So I said, to hell with this. Pardon my French, but that is actually what I said. And, uh, oh yeah, sorry, my, uh, I probably off-centered there. So I probably just offended my French viewers, but, ah. Uh, so I was pretty angry, and I swore off Nima Sign forever. And honestly, I'd probably have, still have them sworn off, except I heard good things about them. So I'm a little disappointed. I've had this pen for a few months now. I'm disappointed to start seeing those micro fractures. I'm hoping that's all the further they get. I, a uh, long time ago, I reviewed a Delta Serena that actually had those micro fractures. And, uh... Yeah, it's just kind of sad. You know, I don't over-tighten my pens. I know you, you hand your fountain pen to some people and they're like, jam on the cap as hard as they can when they hand it back to you. And uh, why? We don't need to force it. It's a pen. But anyway, uh, the, the pen is actually, uh, I think the owners of the company must have some sort of a science background because... They, they have, what, three different uh, models now. There's a Neutrino, and there's a Fission, and then this is the, the Singularity. And they're all labeled with things like this. Let me give you the one that's on this box. And I was looking for the box, and I couldn't find it. Now, if you're all up in your physics... R is what they call the Schwarzschild radius. I may be mispronouncing that, but it's a mix of English and German, so I'm not sure what to, where to go with that. Uh, Schwarzschild radius, that's actually uh, the radius at which a mass, the M stands for mass, would have to be compressed uh, in order for, to have the escape velocity of light. Uh, for Earth, according to NEMA sign anyway, I didn't calculate it, which now I'm wishing I would have, for Earth, that's about 9.7 millimeters. I don't know exactly what would compress us to that size, but hey, let's go with it. Th this appears in black holes. That, that's, that's where you care. The M, of course, is the mass of the object. C squared is the constant speed of light, and G is a gravitational constant. So, singularity, black hole. That's why this ha has this formula on the box. The uh, neutrino has a formula for neutrinos. The Fission has the fission formula, and kind of cool. They got their science down. Uh, I just wish they'd get their caps in order. All right, so uh, as I said, it's a very nice writer. Uh, it's been now two weeks since I've done a pen review. I don't remember what to do next. Okay, wetness and flow, how about we do that? So I usually zoom in a bit for that, as I recall. And I turned my camera around because of something I noticed. We'll see if it helps. Ew. Anyway, we'll see if it helps. <clears throat> so wetness and flow. Excuse me, and as you can see, I'm not totally over this cold yet. Seems to have no trouble keeping up. Uh, let's see, smear test. Probably seems to lay down a pretty good amount of ink. And reverse writing for those who are into that sort of thing. A very dry, scratchy call the medium. So this is uh, sort of an odd stub size. That's what Nima Sign seems to sell. They have this one. They have, uh, I believe it's the .9. And then, of course, they have the medium, the fine, the broad, the uh, extra fine. And uh, so I've been pretty, imp 
pressed at the writing end of this pen. It is a comfortable pen to hold. It's just this problem right here that disappoints me. And I'm seeing the micro fractures already. I'm just waiting for pieces to start breaking off. So that is taking away a lot of the enjoyment of the pen. But it is a low cost pen. So if you're looking for a low cost pen to recommend, it's a contender. Uh, I have not actually read a lot of people saying that it cracks off. But on the other hand, I've been so busy with school, I really haven't been spending a lot of time on the fountain pen forums either. So, horse apiece, I guess. I did a little research on it this week, but I haven't, just haven't had time, you know, end of semesters. But hey, today was the last day of school, so guess who has time now? <laughs> All right, so let's do a quick quote, and then uh, I'll just talk about a few other things with the pen. Pull up. Pull up some more. There we go. So the nice thing with this size stub is you can actually coax out some pretty decent ordinary writing that has a special flair to it that a broad nib would not have. Uh, so I respect Nemesign for bringing these odd size nibs out and taking a gamble on them. Uh, I actually do like writing with the pen. It's comfortable in the hand. Um, is it good value for money? A conditional yes. And the condition being it doesn't start cracking around the lip of the cap here. Personally, I think that this either this metal band needed to come down a little further, or possibly, and I don't know, but possibly this just needs to be a little narrower here so that the cap doesn't go over top of it. I don't know what's causing the cracking, but you know it's disappointing. Uh, but otherwise, this is a good entry-level pen, and it's one you can experiment with. It's a number six nib, so it's a common size. You can slip out that nib. You can slip in another nib. Uh, like I said, these re-entry nibs. Let's see if this looks better under this camera. Oh, yeah. I just can't win with the lighting here, can I? I mean, my eyeball, it looks amazing. <laughs> yeah. Look on the Goulet Pen website, because apparently this guy can't can't film it. Not least with my cheap little camera I'm using here. But anyway, I uh, so I, I respect them a lot. And I, 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 I'm a nerd. I, I do think it's cool that they're using the physics for names and putting the formula on there and maybe giving people a little bit of an awareness that, hey, these math equations and this physics actually describes things that are real. You know, as a science teacher, I'm all up in that. Um, but I will tell you the truth, if this disappeared, or if it was wrecked, I wouldn't buy another one. It just doesn't do anything special for me. Uh, and maybe it goes back to my first experience with the pen, I don't know. But uh, anyway, that was probably clear as mud. <laughs> um, I've, I've been a little uncomfortable through this video. I, I'm going to end this video with something unusual. Uh, you may have noticed, if you're a subscriber, you may have noticed I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers. I've been, I'm not a channel that really people watch. I'm, I've been very slow to grow. Uh, and I haven't really been trying hard to grow. I just make my videos and people who watch them watch them. Um, I had an email today from a company. I won't give their name yet till I figure out where to head with this. Uh, it's a company, it's not probably a company you've heard of. I mean, they do make pens, but they don't make very many. And they just asked me about what are my conditions for reviewing a pen. And I just thought, wow, I have never, honestly, been approached for this before. <laughs> and I'm not sure 
you know, I've always just reviewed pens that interested me. I uh, once tried to buy a pen and I, I don't know why I did, but I mentioned that I do pen reviews in the email with, with the company and they, they just flat out said, oh, yeah, we, we're not going to sell to you because you do pen reviews. So, okay. Uh, so this isn't that company. This is a company that solicited me. You know, I could see why a company that makes pens might not want to review or to buy their pens, but uh, I don't know. I also know a lot of reviewers get pens this way and yeah, I'm a little uncomfortable. I'm not sure where I'm headed. You know, if, if I were to if I were to accept their offer, however, I I would not want to keep the pen. So then what do I do with it? You know, I send it back to them. I don't know. So it just kind of makes me uncomfortable and I'm leaning towards saying, no, I don't do uh, reviews on request. Um, but, you know, I also know I have done reviews of pens that have been loaned to me. And a few that have been given to me. But then those weren't given to me or loaned to me by companies. They were given and loaned to me by individuals who just thought it would be cool to see this pen that they like reviewed. So uh, I'm uncomfortable. I'm. It's obviously weighed on my mind through this whole review because I've been kind of awkward. Uh, curious about your thoughts. So let me know in the comments and let me know what you think of the Nemo sign singularity. Is this cracking a problem or... Did I just have bad luck with an early batch and these little fractures I see here are just purely cosmetic? I don't know. So I'd be curious about your experience with that as well. So I thank you for watching. It is good to be healthy again and I will be definitely back on a more than regular schedule because I am free! So I thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.